Welcome to the INET Solution Member Protect Tutorials. In this quick video, I will simply highlight all the tutorials that we have available, as well as give you some general information about the website design and layout. On the right here, we have all of our tutorials, starting with the login link and then ending with the log off link. Just so you're aware, not every tutorial requires that you be logged in, but some do, and we'll explain that when we come across those. There are a total of 10 tutorials, starting with organizations, users, roles and privileges, basic authentication, risk-based authentication, cryptography, custom user and organization information, email, data access, and utility and support functionality. We are going to start with the organization's functionality. But before then, I want to explain this login page a little bit further. You'll notice that there's a username box, but there's no password box. This is by design. Most websites generally require at least a username and password. However, for these tutorials, we've decided not to focus on security and website design and rather focus on the member protect system itself. Due to that, as long as a username exists in the system and you type it in this box, you can log in. Once logged in, you can then use the tutorials that require a logged in user. Obviously, we don't recommend this approach in professional websites, but for purposes of this tutorial or other similar projects, it might be all you need. Additionally, there's this reset button at the bottom. This button can be used to clear out all information in the database in case you've added data that you wish you hadn't, or you'd like to rest restart the tutorials back to the way they were normally for perhaps another user to try out. 